So how did they use maps? Vasco da Gama, when he was circumnavigating Africa, he used navigational charts, the so-called Portolan maps. And Portolan maps were already being used during the Middle Ages. The Catalans were among the first to use it for the Mediterranean. They are predominantly used to map out the Mediterranean Sea. However, starting with the 16th century, there is an expansion in the use of Portolan charts and Vasco da Gama and navigators use portal and charts. Um, and the name comes from ports. From ports. The idea is to map out all the port cities. So you would see all the names of port cities inscribed on these maps. And with maps. these lines, how do you get from one the to the next? The rum lines with the wind roses. Mm -hmm. So you would have the directions. However, if you look at the interior of the continents, they're almost unexplored mm. and of course sailors were not interested in the hinterland mm -hmm. of the countries but only in the ports mm -hmm. and one of the first maps really to map out the new world and also the Indian Ocean was the so-called Cantino map. It was actually a map that was designed in Portugal and it was top secret. Cartographic knowledge was mm. top secret. It was very well hidden. It was strategic, almost military and political mm knowledge mm -hmm. that was well hidden from, of course, other countries who were competing for maritime power. And of course, trace and commerce were crucial. So Portugal had the monopoly over the spice trade, for instance, mm -hmm. during that time. So this was a knowledge that was well hidden. Cantino map sounds Italian, and actually it was uh, stolen from the Portuguese by an Italian guy, mm -hmm. by an Italian spy, who uh -huh. was working for the Duke of Ferrara, who uh -huh. stole the Cantino map. So now if we, you want to see the Cantino map, you have to go to Ferrara. Uh -huh. The Cantino map was created in 1502, so it's very early and mm. it already shows the New World, mm. it shows the Indian Ocean, it's a beautiful... So some of Brazil, it knows yes, about that? Yes, Brazil. Yeah. It does not have the name America yet. Which Waldseemüller uh, invents. Which Waldseemüller <laughs> invents, together with his colleague and friend Matthias Ringmann. Mm. And Waldseemüller creates the first map that contains the word America for the South American continent, mm -hmm. not for the North American continent. And both continents are, are really designed as slivers as far as they had been explored in 1507. Mm -hmm. And Walsemüller, well nine years later, makes another map which is a Portland chart. The 1507 map is actually a Ptolemaic map. Yeah. So it is very close to Ptolemy's reading of geography, yeah. expanded, of course, to the New World. But nine years later, in 1516, Waldseemüller creates the Carta Marina. The Carta Marina is interesting because it shows King Manuel I riding a sea monster, domesticating the Indian Ocean. and. Quite interestingly, we have a wonderful example of Carta Marina at mm. the Houghton Library, yeah. which is 1513 Majolo map. We have an example of this beautiful tin container that transported the portolan. Waterproof, because it's, the things would bleed the colors if they get wet. Absolutely, it's waterproof. And oh. here is the map itself. It's a beautiful vellum map rolled together. So one, one would. We have the Virgin it. Mary, it looks like. We have the Virgin Mary, so this map is oriented to the west, and it shows a little bit of the New World. And, of course, very interestingly, Camoish was competing with the Spanish. Hmm. So while the Spanish were discovering the New World in the west, Camoish was writing about Vasco da Gama, who discovered the East, mm -hmm. right? So the Eastern Indies, as opposed to the West, mm -hmm. Western Indies. And in Canto Primeiro, the first canto actually says that we will build a novo reino, mm -hmm. a new kingdom, a new empire in the East. Mm -hmm. The English translation here translates that as a new age. But I think that really means Novo Reino yeah. is much stronger mm -hmm. and shows that there is a competition actually for mm -hmm. dominion and expansion mm -hmm. in the ocean.